In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 10, Section 4, Calculator Permitted. We're now on the grid in, so we know the difficult level resets. All right, problem 31. Lynn has $8 to spend on apples and oranges. Apples cost 65 cents each, and oranges cost 75 cents each. There's no tax on the purchase, and she buys five, five apples. What's the maximum number of whole oranges she can buy? So she has $8, and we're told she buys five apples at 65 cents. So even for a straightforward question like this, you can just use your calculator just to make sure that you um, do it correctly. So five times 65. So this is the amount that she spends on the apples, and I'm gonna subtract that from the $8, that's the total. So the remaining is the amount she can purchase for the oranges, and oranges are 75 cents each. So I'm just doing it all on my calculator here. And we get 6.3 repeating. So whenever you see a question like this, and they even said whole oranges, this is not a rounding question. So even if this answer were 6.99, you couldn't buy that extra full orange, you'd have to go down to the integer below. And so whenever you see a question like this, you have to um, choose the integer below it's six is the answer all right let's take a look at question 32. note figure not drawn to scale and the triangle above a equals 34 what's the value of b plus c so even though it's not drawn to scale we know triangles the sum always equals 180 and so these two angles together will just be the difference from 180 which is 146. We don't know individually what they are, but that's not what they ask questions are asking for. It's just the sum, and it's 146. So another straightforward question for 32. All right, 33. If the mean of the five numbers above is 1,600, what's the value of x? So this is an average question. Whenever you see a mean or average question, you really want to get in the habit of finding the total or the sum of the values. That'll help determine the answer. So we don't know what this x is, but we do know that the average of the five is 1,600. So to find the total, it's the number of terms, and you multiply that <clears throat> excuse me, by the average, the mean. And this will give you the total of all the numbers 8,000 and so then we just add up these and whatever's less from, from 8,000 will be the answer <clears throat> so you can use your calculator so I'll just do this in my head it's 2,000 that's 36 that is 48 and 55 5,500 it's the sum just be careful with your arithmetic because there's no recourse on the grid if you make a mistake and the answer is 2,500. <clears throat> okay, last question on this page. Let's take a look at 34. The relationship between x and y can be written y equals mx, where m is a constant. If y equals 17 when x equals a, what is the value of y <clears throat> when x equals 2a? And so here's the equation. This is really two variables that are directly proportional. There's some constant. We don't know what the constant is, but it really doesn't matter. So y equals mx. But we're also told that x equals a, so we could also say that y equals m times a. And when x equals a, we know that y is 17. And now the question is saying, what is y now if, this, if x now becomes 2a? And so here we just have a 2a, and everything else is the same. And obviously, both sides are doubled. And so the answer here is just 34. Another pretty straightforward question.